Hey YouTubers, today I have a great video for you and that is the completion of my Lionel table and the showcase of all the Lionel trains that I own. The table behind me, it is completed. I didn't plan to put any kind of scenery on it or anything because, well, if I sell the house one day, I don't, I don't want to put all that work into it to have it take it apart again. So right now the table is just for fun to run all the trains around, to have some fun, to go on different tracks, and also it was a great learning curve for me to learn how to put everything together and to wire it up, to find dead spots, and everything else. So, uh, if you see my first celebratory run with the Santa Fe War Benet set, it came out as a great run, but now all my tracks are wired, all my switch tracks are constant voltage, and what more than uh, can I say, then I'll give you a quick overview of the table again to see how everything is wired up. Okay, so the dimensions of my table is 7 foot by 12 foot this way, and as it is, it is a very sizable table. I have a uh, 054 track on the outside with 042 in the middle and 036 on the inside track. All my tracks are a mixture of Lionel O gauge, 027, Menards, and K line track. All the tracks fit together very well with no problems except for the 027 gauge switch tracks because the L gauge pins are a bit big for the track, but they will fit inside. You give them a little push, um, it'll create a very snug fit and a good continuity between the two tracks. So it does work in case anybody has doubts about that. Now you'll notice that in the middle here of the screen that there's a, this line. This is where I separate the table in case I have to gain access to the basement door. And uh, when the table comes apart, it folds up and I can put up against the wall that you see just to our left. Now to power up this section of the table, we look underneath this table, we're going to see a bunch of wires underneath uh, that are labeled and have clips that I got. So all I got to do is just uh, connect the clips as per what the label says and then the other side of my table here will uh, have power to run all my trains. If you look where the tracks couple together, you'll notice these black squares or black rectangles around the ties. And that is a rubber mat that I purchased from Amazon. When I was running just one or two trains on the table, it was very loud when the trains ran on the plywood. Adding these pieces and screwing them down with the ties, it just reduced enough noise on the table to where it's, it's comfortable for, for people to talk around when I'm running trains. So I did this to the entire layout and it made a huge difference in the noise. So as we go through the front switchyard at the front of the table, the outside track switches off into two tracks, which goes underneath our uh, our command station. So here I have my rebuilt ZW transformer, my custom switch controller, all the control switches for the uh, switch tracks, and my Lionel Legacy, uh, my first ever Lionel Legacy uh, command station. All right, that's enough talk. Let's go run some trains.
dispatcher. Cleared outbound, 4120 out. Dispatcher, 4120 out.